I'm Joe from the Elusive Herkimer Diamond. And I'm Dermman, here with another special report. Live here at Mohawk Valley Mineral Mining, where it's all happening every day. We've got a lot of people here mining. Let's check out the action. I'm here with Dory, and she's been mining in this massive hole over here, and look what she's got. One is a double, and this other is bigger than both of the double, and that is awesome. Makes the whole day worth it. Oh yeah. I'm here with Luke. He's been digging way down in this hole. It's right below me. He hit a nice faceted crystal. He's about to pull it out. Yeah, nice and gentle. Don't want to rock it. Just want to pull it straight out. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. whoa. There it is. Oh, nice one. The Mohawk Monsters. That's you want it. a monster, you come to Mohawk. You don't go to yeah. any other mine. That is what we call them. They're the Mohawk Monsters, Luke. Congratulations, man. Thank you. And look what Peanut found. Peanut was digging around <laughs> and somehow managed to just push this out of the dirt. Look at Peanut's little uh, helmet there. Lifetime member with the hard hat. Oh yeah, but look what Peanut found. Now, Vicky's been digging real hard and she's been working and she dug that big old hole there and she found that. Look at that, that is a Mohawk monster. To coin the phrase, that is it right there. Three crystals are growing together one there, one here, and then the massive one there. Awesome job, Thank awesome you. job, great job, Vicky. <laughs> I'm here with Mama Rockhound, and she just came over to this new spot today, and within two inches of hitting the surface, she hit this. Holy crap. Runs in the blood, I need one now. <laughs> so, I settle in for a long day of breaking rock with Joe, Herkimer, Harry, and Rich. It wants to. It's cracking right along I here. Know, it's I've got a good right crack here. going. Put that one in there. Y'all are like now pounding on the, the crack that I started. <laughs> Let it rip. But with this legendary crew, it isn't long before we hit the soup bowl pocket. I'm just got my hand here. Ah. Holy crap! Oh yeah! Holy crap! Diamond! Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, we did yeah. it! Found it! All right, Oh my God! Look at the oh, one back there! Yep! Oh my God! Loose too! Loose! Loaded with perfect water clears, golden, and one beautiful Palmer. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! It's got a friend! Wow. Beautiful! Oh my god! Absolutely it's amazing! Got more back in there, it's like dude. a birthday candle! All right, Joe, where's mine? I'm here with Herkimer Harry. He just pulled out that amazing pocket down there and those amazing crystals. So, in your opinion, what makes a Herkimer diamond different than normal quartz crystals? Well, for one thing, it's the clarity. And then the, uh, the way they're shaped, the way that they're like cut like diamonds when, when you find some of them and then the the hardness of them compared to the, the regular quartz so they're harder than the regular quartz yes they are well let's go test that out what better way to test the hardness of a herc than firing it out of a cannon oh, there it is oh look how it perfect. survived <laughs> and it survived Look at that. The Herc is perfect. It had a key mark in it before I put it in there, but it is good to go. Circus axe aside, a scratch test is the proper way to test hardness. A Herkimer diamond with a hardness of 7.5 should scratch a quartz crystal with a hardness of 7, which it does, proving the Herc is actually hard. But it's not just hardness, it's clarity too. Side by side, there's no doubt. Herks are on a whole different level of quality. I'm here with Dave and Shaw. Dave pointed to me at a good spot where he thought there might be one, so I said, Mom, go over there. She found it. So, Dave, what makes a Herkimer so special? Herkimer's done when you pull it out of the ground. All you do is just pick them up and bask in their glory. You're that good? Like seriously, it's weird to say it that way. The other thing is, it is double terminated. So it's free floating and it's, it's, it has that ability to have the perfectness without having to go through a cutting shop or a lab, you know? Yep. It's just done. Nature Straight out of the ground. Work. Yeah. Or out of the rock. Yeah. Sean, you, what, to you, what makes it so special? 
Um, I think it's so special when the water clears come straight out of the dirt. I mean, they're already like clean. You uh, can see right through them. Yep. Can't find that with most other things. Nope. They're so perfect already. Yep. I'm now over here with Alex, and he's the geology guy here around here. So, what makes a herc so special? So, these hercs are special because they have exceptional clarity. Uh, during formation, there was a large presence of hydrocarbons, which attributed to their increased clarity more than those of other quartz varieties. Uh, there was also a unique set of environmental factors and geological occurrences that are the reason we find these circumer diamonds here today. So what does it all boil down to? It boils down to the fact that it's the history, the clarity, the quality of these Herkimer diamonds that make them so much different than your typical quartz crystal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was oh, bigger yes. than it was in the whole... <laughs> Hold the light on it, JD. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, it was yowza, yowza, yowza. That's and I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to look some more because I felt it might have just been a rock, but when I was scratching beneath this, I felt oh something. God. Oh my <laughs> God. Holy Mac. Are you all right, Mac? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, let me see, let me see. That's the second one? That's the second one. Yeah. 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 This is wonderful. I had spent two days trying to get to these things. Finally, it opened up. That's number one, and that's number two. And these will probably Almost go back like together. You're going to need tape or something, Matt. Yeah. You know that's not going to stay something together. It's going to be like this. So yeah. you just, after you clean that out, you'll see the shape of it. Okay. Another great day. I'm Joe. And I'm Dirt Man, bringing the geology to you from here in Sprakers, New York. And now back to you, Jerry. <laughs>